And same thing with weapons. Like, we could... Well, we can't update Hoots' weapon. I mean, Hoots can't use another weapon. Sling is all Hoots can use. But Yolo and Janna could upgrade to crossbows or plus one bows, I think. I haven't checked my equipment list in a second here, but... If bards and druids can't use the, the plus one bow, I don't even know what we're doing here. Like, I don't even want to live in that reality. But that's a few thousand gold or whatever that we then cannot spend on a magic wand. I, wh where do they sell them? I don't know. Yet. 99 gold chest. Woohoo! All I know is that only the mage and druid can equip them. There's a ladder here. We don't want this one. We want this one. Up we go. Uh, yeah, this is gonna work. Yeah, we're gonna go back down to level 5. I believe. And then... Hold on. Checking the map. <laughs> a level four... Okay, we're here. We need to go here. I know you can't see. I'm talking to myself because it helps me think. Uh, so we're gonna, that's going to bring us to here. That should be this. That should be this. The hell is he talking about? I'm just not sure which... Uh, once we get back down to level 5, which... Well, you know what I'm gonna do? We'll have to plan it out from here. Let's see where we are. Okay. Uh, so you can see... See, I've got a magic ball there, which we unfortunately cannot touch at the moment. So I've got more stairs going up to level four. Three of them in a row, in fact. Kind of. I think I understand what this map is telling me. I've got two options here, and if it's not the first one, it's got to be the second one. Oh, if I had more than... I only have 500 health, so I can't touch that magic ball. Okay, so yeah, we have to go the other way. Oh no! I'm so confused. Ah, look what I've done. I've trapped myself. Uh, so yeah, where do I need to... Crap. <laughs> yes, back down. Uh, there should just be a magic ball nearby, actually. Let's take down these red caps here. I didn't see any secret doors or anything on the map. I'm not worried about trying to be efficient with the four experience points or whatever these little red caps give off. Yeah, that's the magic ball. Uh, let me go back to my map here. Did I do it completely wrong? I need to get to this square. Where does this square cor correspond with this square on level 5? Hmm. 
Maybe the squares don't line up between floors. Or... I didn't just miss a room, right? No. My goal is the up arrow on level 4. Which means I've got to get to that down arrow up in the top right. So why is that so hard? Downstairs from here. North from here on level 5. This goes to another just tiny room, right? Yeah, nothing I can do there. We're lost. There's the ball. Maybe I only want to come to this area because there's two balls in it and it's not the right way forward. This is the little, yeah, this is the three tile gap room. So there's got to be another upstairs from here. Yeah, because I walked past the first one. Let's go to the third one. Go east over here. Up here? Aha! Let's make sure this is correct. Yes, this is correct. We'll go into this room, we'll go out to the north, and that'll lead us to the next to the stairs up to level three. Oh, these guys, huh? Everybody gets their own. Take up however much experience you can muster. Nobody's reflecting, that's what you like to see. Everybody throw missiles at Hoots, that's fine. Nope, don't auto. I don't trust the auto button. I got yelled at a lot streaming the uh, Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters uh, this past year or so. Because I wouldn't use the auto battle button. <laughs> Everybody's like, it speeds up battle. And I'm like, I don't want to speed up battle. I want to waste all of your time. All right, so if we go north out of this room, it goes nowhere useful. Actually, it doesn't matter going to wrap around. North or south does not matter here. But there should be another room here. And so there is, with some sea serpents, we found the pool of the dungeon, Heath Loth. You know what? I did all that talking up about how the game is, like, trying to be geologically realistic with the flow of water, and then there's just random pools in the underworld. And also... The underworld connects to, like, wildly different places that doesn't actually make any geographic sense. So I actually don't know what I'm talking about. This goes... Ah, we've made it. Alright. We go up. To, we go north to the wall. We go west. There's a, a stone we can't use. East goes to a room. If we go north out of that room, we go to a fountain. If we go south out of that room, we wind up in... We have our choice of two. Count them two. Ladders. And I don't... Looking at level two, I look. it looks like it doesn't matter. So as long as we go south out of the room, we should be fine. Hey, treasure boxes. We'll give Hoots his own dinosaur here. 
let the big boys in the back worry about that dragon. How cool would it be if we actually are just right on the threshold of Hoots' next level? We haven't fled from a single encounter. We have faced every malicious challenge the game has thrown at us so far. I'm hoping there's, when we get to the end of the dungeon, there's just like a big floor full of gold waiting for us. I really feel like I deserve that. I said south out of this room, right? I guess we'll find out. Uh, this room looks like it calls for some energy. Yeah, we'll throw some energy down right there. Yolo and Jana, take care of the Mimic, please. Uh, they've all got a st no, this, these two don't, actually. That energy spell might have been kind of a waste. <laughs> Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, well, we can't cast magic anymore from this point on. Oh, they've got ranged attacks as well. I thought it was just the mimics that were shooting like fireballs at us, but no, these guys got slings or spears or something, and they go through walls. That's not fair. Only my missiles are supposed to be able to go through walls like that right there, like just happened. Yeah, I don't think it matters which of the two ladders I take on this floor. Looks like they both go to the same kind of place. But see, if I'm not touching magic orbs, I kind of don't even have to heal one once. I've still got plenty of health. And even if I was taking a lot more damage than I am, we got plenty of heals queued up. So I feel like the armor is not going to be a tremendously good investment for Hoots. Up to level 2. Okay. So we go south to the wall. And yeah, you see the other down ladder there. So either way, we've got to go through this room. And then we can go south to the ladder. Or we can go east to the ladder. So all we got to do is go east at this T-juncture down here. Go through one room and we're good. That's west. YOLO, your light went out. All right, we've made it up to the top floor. Please, is there something good on this floor? <laughs> so you can see the... Uh... What is that altar room on this floor? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Uh... How do I get to it? Oh, through that... Oh, I see. We gotta take two steps forward and then go through the secret wall. There shouldn't be a stone in this dungeon, though. The white stone of spirituality is missing. Don't I have it? No, I don't. I got the black stone. Okay, so I could leave out of here. And I guess I might as well, because there's nothing else on the first floor up here, so. Oh, this is why Dungeon Heathloth has an entrance in Castle Britannia, because its actual entrance is in the mountains somewhere. And look, tis a lighter-than-air device, guarded by these nerds. Let's unnerd some nerds real quick. So yes, there is a hot air balloon that you can only find by going into Dungeon Heathloth and traveling through it like we did, or if you cast the exit spell, you can warp directly out of the front of the dungeon. And yeah, you can't get into this dungeon any other way, so the dungeon is meant to be traversed from the bottom up. 
cool, huh? This game's got all kinds of cool stuff in it. The question is where on the world map are we? Oh no, Hoots is asleep. That's not good. Hoots wakes up. Where did your hat go, Hoots, when you fell asleep? You just kind of fell on your face and your hat vanished. Not practicing good hatsmanship there, buddy. Hatsmanship. Um, you know what? I'm going to stand by it. That's what I said. I'm going to stand by it. It's bad hatsmanship for your hat to vanish when you fall asleep. Now Hoots' health is starting to get a little scary. So, one cool thing about the balloon is that you can, so if you have a bird's eye view of the world below you, you can see everything down there. And man, we're way off the beaten path. We're way out over the ocean. Also, I'm not controlling the balloon. The balloon just drifts on the winds, my dude. So let's just uh, drift for a little while. Looks like we're up near Minoc now. Yeah, this is up in the Minoc area. Drifting to the south. There's Vesper, we're pretty close by. <laughs> uh, I think Exodus for NES showed which direction the wind was blowing on screen, but I'm not sure why, because that game didn't have a balloon. And yeah, we're just out over the open ocean now. We're just cruising. Oh, nope, never mind. We're turning around. The wind did a complete 180, whipped us around. So what we can do is we have the wind spell. It takes garlic and moss, so it's it's quick to cast. Uh, it doesn't require any crazy reagents. So we'll come up on the shoreline here. Let's have YOLO cast it. So I want to travel back to Britain, which means I want to travel to the west, so I need the east wind. And now we're traveling west. And this is how you control the balloon. And we should be coming right up... Oh no, Britain's going to be a little ways over still. Yeah, over, over the mountains here. Over... This looks to be like the biggest inland lake, which we were told has a clue for us. Uh, now we should be getting into Britain territory, I believe, because the Shrine of Compassion was around here somewhere. There's a little path up in the mountains there. In fact, I'm going to cast wind again. Let's get the north wind blowing. Travel to the south. Over the Plains of Compassion. And there's Britain. Uh, and let's land right here. Excellent. So the balloon is a little cumbersome to use, but I actually quite like it. I think it's novel. It's just a cool thing to try. Uh, it does take a lot of reagents because you got to cast wind a lot. And obviously, controlling it with the D-pad would be preferable. But uh, if we can get to level 6, please. We've got a lot of monsters. Oh, nope, just Janna. Let's get our heal. So let's talk to some prisoners, and then let's go back to the town of Britain. We will attempt to give blood. Maybe now that we're level 5, we can. Thy virtue is not my concern. I did what I wanted to do, so leave me alone. Fine, I just opened your cell, so you're free, apparently. Have thou ever struck an innocent? No! Then how canst thou enjoy life? Is that what enjoying life is? You just run around slapping unsuspecting people? <laughs> Alright, so we have... Uh, we're done in Trincet. We need to go to Jellum next. Oh, actually, I should have landed at Minoc and picked up Julius while I was in the area. Well, we already didn't do that. Let me look at my moon gates here. I can... I can Moongate up to Minoc and then Moongate from there down to Trinsic. Or I could just balloon down to Trinsic. 
Because we should be able to meditate at some point now. And attain partial avatar hood. Oh, let's give to the beggar. Here you go, Bob. Yes, I've got gold for you. You can have 50. I didn't tell him to enjoy his leg rot this time. I made sure not to make light of his plight. Here we go. Will thou give of thy own blood so that another may live? Thou art strong in the way of virtue. Our boundless gratitude is thine. So that dealt 100 points of damage to me. And I'm willing to go down to 200 health here. Oh, you know what? You might just need enough health. Like, it, he didn't even give me the option because I'm hurt now. I wonder if I cast heal. I've got what now? 365? Yeah, you need over 300 health. So, at level 3... or No, at level 4... You have a maximum of 400 health, but I probably, every time I checked the healer, I just didn't have enough health to try. Uh, I think Jellum is our next stop. And I think we can just balloon down there. We're headed south, that's good. Oh, you know what, if I had planned this better, we could have went over and got some more fungus from our fungus patch. Oh well. There's the dungeon Death Star. We've just passed it on the top left corner of the screen there. Uh, we need to cast the West Wind. Uh, Jana, take care of us here. No, cast the East Wind. Oh my god, I just shantayed myself. <laughs> I need to blow from the East. Hey, there's a boat. Remember that boat? I don't know why we've got a boat there. And then we should be able to turn south about here. The north wind blowing. And that should take us down to the island where Jellum is. Is this it here? I think this is it. Oh, maybe not. There's a couple islands in this area. Here's Jellum. Okay. So now that we have a key... Oh, also, we wanted to... There was this man here. Yeah, the guy who talks about the man in black. But he hasn't mentioned a reagent to us. Oh, here we go. Upon its hilt was struck a rune of the earth, split asunder. So he also talks about Tremor, but we had to talk to him twice. And from his sash hung a spring that the a, a spring of that poison the mage is called man root okay so tremor we know the first person said blood moss this guy is saying man root excellent uh, you know what i just gave a bunch of blood we're not going to need to give again just yet this is the weapon and armor shop. I think we need to find the, the key door going into the walls of... Yeah, here we go. In we go. Oh, it's just this guy. Red is the color of valor. Yes, I do have that stone. To find the key of courage, the red stone is necessary. All information we knew already. Aha! This man has a treasure room that we're not going to loot. But what's down here? YOLO, if you please. We're now under the town of Jellum. There are a whole bunch of poison down here. In the dungeon Destard, the Altar of Courage can be found. It connects to the dungeons Covetous, Shame, and Heathloth, all of which we discovered through the intrepidness of our explorations. So there are kind of two ways to discover a lot of things in Ultima games. Typically, an NPC will tell you a clue, or just over the course of exploring, you could also learn a lot. And I think that's the intent of the game. 
It's just kind of two ways to discover anything. Is that a ghost? What does Ghost Man have to say? I am, uh, was Nostro. I have found the rune, but I cannot leave this room. In my stead, canst thou take the rune and venture to the shrine? Yes, I can. The rune is in the corner of this very room. Oh, Nostro the ghost, my dude. Well, it must mean this corner, because this is the only corner that is dangerous. The Rune of Valor. We has it. So now we just need to go to the Shrine of Valor. And I think I'm just going to see if I can grab a pirate ship here. How are my reagents doing? Mmm. Running low on silk web and garlic. Hey, we found the north. Or the, uh... South secret there. Excellent. Everything's going wonderfully. Uh, there's not a reagent vendor in this town, I don't believe, but I'm gonna go ahead and stay at the inn. Some, you know, dungeon delving took a lot out of me. And also, I gave away most of my blood. I think I've earned a nap. Very good. I'm going to have to double check that room, or that clue about the, uh, the soldier's western chambers. I might have misinterpreted what the NPC was trying to tell me. Is there a boat? There is a boat. Come get me, buddy. Are you serious? Oh no, I didn't want to go back into the town! Oh, that boat's not going to help. Hold on, we got gargoyles and skulls to deal with. Valor makes sense, because we've been through a lot of combat. I'm not sure what I've done to be honorable, though. Uh, hoots. I can't attack that gargoyle just yet. He's probably going to step forward, and then I can start whacking with my stick next round. Parries the attack. Yeah, here we go. I just want a boat nearby. I don't want to have to cast three wind spells to go six tiles. Can I get to Minoc from here? Let me check my moon map real quick. Uh, Jellum goes to... Goes back to Moonglow. I don't have any business in Moonglow at the time being, though. Okay, let's see if we can get a closer boat. Boat? No, can I get a better boat than that, please? Here we go. Come on, boat. Boat. There you go. Oh, gosh! You have to wrestle the D-pad in this game. Trying to... get into that little square. Took everything ahead. Yeah, now we got Monsters Casting Tremor, Monsters Casting Defeat. We still haven't seen Defeat Land. I've got no idea what's going on with that spell. Shoutouts to Dada for sponsoring this video. If you liked the video and you want to see more, please tickle my thumb, leave a friendly comment, and ring my little bell.